We are going to be looking at uh, this particular problem. This is problem number 31. This is from section uh, 3.2. And this is uh, the instructions are to solve the, quad the quadratic equation using the quadratic formula. I'm going to be using my calculator pretty soon to get a decimal approximation for our answer. But uh, until then, we could just leave it off here to the side. If we're going to work on this problem, I need to first of all get things set up here with my pointer. And I need to choose a color. Oh, here's my template. There it is. OK. And here we go. If we're going to solve this with a quadratic formula, the first thing we need to do is recall the, what the quadratic formula is. Remember our quadratic formula. We're going to have x is equal to the opposite of b plus or minus the square root of the quantity b squared minus 4ac. And this is all divided by 2a. Now, before I can use this, I must uh, correctly identify my a, b, and c. The a is the coefficient of the x term. And so on our particular problem, the a is going to be equal to 1. The b is the coefficient of the x term. a is coefficient of the x squared term. b is the coefficient of the x term. And so on our, our b is going to be negative 5. And c is going to be this constant. And so our c is equal to 2. One thing I should have noted earlier is that this equation is in standard form, where I have the x squared term, x term, constant term, equal to 0. Now I'm going to take these values for a, b, and c and plug them here into the formula. So here we go. So I'm going to have uh, that this is equal to, let me make my big line across here. I'm going to have the opposite of the negative 5. Then we'll have plus or minus the square root of. This is going to be a negative 5 squared minus 4 times the a, which is 1, times the c, which is 2. Got to make these lines a little bit bigger here, huh? And this is all divided by 2 times the a. Hopefully, you can see my dots here. That sometimes are kind of hard to see these time signs. Now, doing these computations, the opposite of negative 5 is just positive 5 doing a few more computations. And if you use your calculator, you've got to be careful to put in parentheses here. A negative squared is still going to be a positive. So negative 5 squared is going to be positive 25. And then we have minus 4 times 1 times 2 is going to be 8. And this is all divided by 2. This is going to give us the following answers. I'm going to have 5 plus or minus. And we're going to have the square root of 25 minus 8 is going to be 17. And this is divided by 2. So those are the two answers in uh, exact form. Let's take a moment now to find our decimal approximations for these. So let me put a line down here. And uh, let's find, for instance, the one with the positive here, right? So if I take this one right here, divided by 2. Let's get our calculator up and running a little bit here. If I'm going to put this into the calculator, I need to get out of this window. And we're going to take uh, the following. Okay, I'm going to put, uh, well, let's do it in two steps. I'll do this one in two steps and the next one in one step. So I'm going to have 5, and then we're going to have plus the square root of the 17. Let's compute that. And then we're going to divide that answer by 2. And so our decimal approximation for this is this is going to be approximately, so it's not exactly, 4 point, uh, let's do to three decimal places, 4.56, and that would round that up to a 2. If we want the decimal approximation for the other one, we're going to have 5 minus the square root of 17. And again, this is divided by 2. Let's use our calculator, but this time I'm going to do the computation slightly differently. I'm going to do this all in one big step. And so I'm going to take my entire numerator, 5 minus the square root of the 17. I have to close the parentheses for the square root. I have to close the parentheses for my numerator. And then this is all divided by 2. And my answer for this one is going to be equal to, I'm going to put in a 0. 
point four three eight. These are the two solutions then. So the exact solutions we have here are going to be this one here where we have 5 plus the square root of 17 over 2. The other one is 5 minus the square root of 17 over 2. And we found decimal approximations using our calculator. This then completes this particular exercise.